All right, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I was thinking earlier that if you're not going to hit the, the like button or show your love, get the like, you can send an offering. So. <laughs> No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Just thought that was crude. <laughs> Send an offering if you don't hit the like button. Uh, show your love. Show your love. Anyway, so the last video was on so love, the phrase so love. God so loved the world. Man, how much does he love? Uh, it's, uh, it, it would, I'm going to be honest, it's impossible for us to know while we're here on the earth. Because, um, we're still, we know in part and we see in part. Amen. So it's impossible to know how much he actually loved us. Andrew Walmack once said that if you were to redeem or take back, send back, kind of like, you know, if you bought something and you were to take it back to the store, you know, if you were to redeem everything or, um, send back, take, I forgot the word for it now, but, um, redeem everything that was on the inside of you, it would bankrupt heaven. That's a lot to chew on. It really is. I'm still chewing on that one. I'm going to be thinking about that one for years to come. That's a deep, 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 deep thought. But today I want to talk about the minimum and the maximum requirement for love. It's amazing that there is a, there are things that are easier about love. There are things that are very difficult about it also. It's like, for example, the minimum requirement, I'll, I'll start with, you know, 1 Corinthians 13. And I used to tell people, I'm like, the minimum requirement is kindness. But when you look at it, it actually says love is patient and kind. So we're talking patience is even the minimum requirement before kindness. And even in your patience, you're going to be kind. You know, you're not going to be impatient. So, and I'm going to get into that word patience here in a, in a later video, probably about one or two down the road here. But there is a minimum requirement, you know, to be patient with yourself be patient with God, and to be patient with those around you. You will show patience towards your loved ones where, in areas where you won't show patience towards other people. Why? Because you love them more than you do the other person. But God wants us to show patience, okay? That doesn't always mean that we, you know, share what's on our mind or on our thoughts, you know. We just keep our thoughts to ourselves, and we're just patient and let him do the work. If you see something wrong in somebody, let me, this is a freebie, but if you see some, some, an error, you are obligated to pray for that person in that area. Not gossip, but to pray for them. And in that prayer, be patient. That's like someone asked me one time, they said, well, are you worried about this particular family member not going to church? And I'm like, if I was worried about it, I wouldn't be in faith. I was patient. Why? Because I love that person. And guess what? That person's in church today. Why? Because I was patient. I loved them. And I prayed for them. Amen. So patience and kindness. Kindness. In your patience, you will be kind. It's a minimum requirement. Now, what's the maximum requirement? Well, when we look at God and he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, why did he do that? He did it for forgiveness. While patience and kindness is our minimum requirement, the maximum requirement is forgiveness. He forgave me. So how much more am I to forgive others? Minimum requirement, patient and kindness. Maximum requirement is forgiveness. 
It doesn't get any higher than that. Forgiveness is an action that you show towards someone that is in error. I forgive that person. Recently had a situation where there was a personality clash with a particular leader and I was I was very upset. And a friend of mine, she she was there and she might be watching this video, she'll tell you. But I had to have I had to have my moment. And um, you know, your first reaction is just to run. It's like I'm not gonna have anything to do with that person anymore. Well that's just the, that's just the devil. Especially in this situation. But I'm like, you know what? <laughs> um, like I said, it was a leadership situation and in this situation this person's uh, i'm like i'm going to go to your boss and i prayed i thought to myself i'm going to i didn't tell that person because i didn't want to upset that person love doesn't you know draw attention to itself so i'm i'm like i'm going to the boss and i prayed holy spirit blah 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 and after a little while I'll be honest, the Holy Spirit popped up and he said, you don't do what you do or what I have you do for him. You do it for me. Man, that's powerful. You don't do what you do for him. You do it for me. You serve him for me. Yes, sir. And he's like, I'll take care of that situation. And I just let it go. Amen. So listen, forgiveness. <laughs> Amen. It's the maximum requirement. There you go, Keith. So look, you guys be encouraged, be blessed, and have a and enjoy your day. Okay. <laughs>